and how is it going everyone welcome to i wanna take the time machine to uh, one of the best received games in delicious fruit in fact it might be one of the only nines that you can see there that actually has a significant amount of votes now the interesting thing about this game is that the aspect ratio is really weird as you might have already noticed um, I don't know exactly what aspect ratio this thing is supposed to be but it's definitely not 4-3 at all it's, it's one of those where there is a lot of horizontal stuff like it, it's more obviously or horizontal than vertical but I mean that the the difference between horizontal and vertical is a lot bigger than in 4.3 I think at least that's what it seemed but you know yeah I had to basically like 20 minutes just to try to set that up on OBS and we have English says dead timer and language apparently we can pick that uh, but then there is default key set I don't know what this means because apparently when you click here nothing happens so this leads me to think that you can configure your keys but I'm not seeing it here maybe once I start a game it will let me configure those keys also this thing that it's supposed to be achievements or whatever doesn't really work like it tries to open a web page and it throws an error saying that this page could not be secure or some shit like that. But anyways, let's just get into it. I mean, what could go wrong? Press shift for the next message. Damn, already switching the controls, huh? Uh, what do you mean read notifications? You mean the dialogue or... Sure, yes, I mean... Tim Blakes in Fluka Bana English translation by Geezer Zero Shi. And Geezer knows uh, Korean? Alright. About controls, you can change the controls after finishing tutorials. What? Why would I want to play a tutorial with controls that Okay, it, it's fine. About save file, you can only use the save file in current PC. I wasn't planning on using it in another one, honestly. Please keep and check the game latest version. I downloaded it today, so it has to be. Deleting save file, press the let key to delete the save file in the title menu. Isn't that really too dangerous? Like, if you, well, I'm assuming there's gonna be a prompt asking if you are sure. Or I, I, I hope. F2 game restart full screen. Oh, you have two times resolution? Hmm. Maybe, well, maybe it's if you want to... I'm afraid of pressing that button after I tweak so much this stuff. Maybe I should press it, but I think that that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, I could try... <sighs> nah, not yet. We will see. F9 screenshot. Interesting. If you find a bug, please notify us via Skype or Twitter. <laughs> well, this was written back in 2014, so, you know, the Skype actually was uh, more relevant for this kind of things. Um, it's still relevant, sadly. Not for these things, though. Okay. Left or right to move, down to crouch. Shift to jump. A, A to talk to NPCs and S to save? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? I'm not... I'm not the kid. I'm... well, or maybe I am the kid, a pretty... Okay. Uh... So when I'm near a book, I can say with S. Are you sure about that? Or do I need to jump? Oh, okay, I need to jump. Attacking. Yeah, what about it? Uh, with seed, okay. You attack with seed. Damn, an ideal damage. So, I think this is what they meant with... 
uh, high production value. I mean, I can see it. Can definitely see it. Oh wait, I what? This was supposed to be okay. Action key to investigate. Action key. Oh, there you go. Press C to use your weapon. Up shot to shot upward, down shoot to shoot downward in midair. That seems like it could lead to a lot of really nasty combinations. New weapons can be bought or found in, in hidden places. Limited ammunition? What am I reading? Let's break rocks. Uh, weapon slots. You can switch your weapon with or its key. So this is the kid. Okay. Um, that's pretty nice. The problem is that this controls. I'm really. Oops. I'm really not used to them. And the problem with that is that apparently I need to complete the tutorial before I can use other controls. God damn it, it seems that we already have a hard jump to do there. If I want to get to that one. God damn it. Why will you do that? Why will you only let me override the controls after the tutorial? I don't even know if that jump is possible. I probably should check for another save. I also don't know how long the tutorial is gonna be. Oh well, the f there was a save there. It's Trashamp. The triangle of shell. Oh, well, that's the Champ refresher, okay. Well, that's pretty nice, but I want to know what's in here. Oh, I think I can go back. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, you can go back. Yeah, that is indeed unfortunate. Ah, whatever. Um, end of tutorial. Surprise traps. Okay. Well, how about... Well, that's a pretty good tutorial on trap. Miss Secret? Yeah, but I mean, I'm I can barely properly jump here. The controls I, I can't change it until I I clear the tutorial apparently, which is a problem. Anyways, how is it going, Drain Node? Oh, you crouch for that. Well, okay. Can you allow me to change my controls now? How do I do that? Can I press Escape or? Escape closes the game. <sighs> Seems that escape closing the game is something that is never gonna stop, huh? Uh, I thought that this one, considering that it has a lot of new stuff, will be immune to that, but I guess I was wrong. Um, motherfucker. Hey, Colo, how is it going? No hating Toho today. Well, that's a, a first time. Okay, so are you gonna let me? No, he doesn't let me change my keys. Well, you told you told me that you will that you will allow me. I mean, I clear the tutorial, right? So why can I change it? Entrance to I don't give a shit about the laboratory. I want To change controls hmm, Apparently I can go there damn it How do I do it do I have to use hotkey again? Okay About saves well, That looks nice. There we go. Jesus Christ. Was this that hard to achieve? Well, let's do it up. W S A B. 
Um, no, not that one. Man, fuck me. I, I fucked up. I really fucked that up. I fucked that up pretty badly, in fact. Okay, well, there is a way to unfuck it up, which is, thankfully, the re default key set. It allows you to reset what you input. Because I, I fucked up just at the beginning by doing that, but it's okay. We can set it again. So, up, W, S, A, D, jump, sit, uh, shoot, five, action, I don't know, space bar, I guess, save, uh, well, it can be S, so it has to be, I guess, E, or F, maybe F. Restart has to be our quit. Quit. I mean, well, I, I'm afraid of pressing escape now. W what if escape makes me, well, actually quit the game? Well, let's just press, I don't know, Q. Weapon. I don't know. What's weapon? Wasn't it one? Alright. Probably it wasn't supposed to be one. I don't know what weapon really means in this contest, but well, finally I can have some good controls. Alright. Oof, it took me six minutes, but we're finally with controls that don't fucking suck. I probably should change the... 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 Uh, the one with weapon, because I think that one that it meant is not the same one as I think it is. It might be a little bit different. Um, so for the weapon, I guess, just shift. Sure, I mean, why not? Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to press F, but... Oh, I can redo the tutorial. No, it doesn't seem like I can. Oh, no, never mind. Wait, so that means that I can get the secret? Well, I want to get the secret. Um, so let's see. Well, I don't even know if that champ is doable. Maybe this is a goose chase. Maybe it, it might look like it's doable, but it might just be a fake. Now, I don't understand. If you can allow me to use the controls that I say, that I set here, why can you do that? before the tutorial. Like, I, I'm afraid I don't get it, but it's okay. Nice, okay. So what's the secret? Uh, Kappa. Wow. What a secret. All right. And this is why you don't check for secrets. The worst part is that that's a sure death. Yeah, it is a sure death. Man, what a bastard. <laughs> that's how it's gonna start. God damn it. Well, I guess I don't know why I expect uh, when I go... I went to search a secret on a fucking tutorial, but whatever. Hopefully, we can stop playing the tutorial. That will be a, a good thing. I forgot about that one. Interesting that this game has crouching. Crouching can change this a lot. I can definitely change this a lot. It might be a problem. Um, okay, well, finally we will be able to get out of the tutorial. It only took almost 10 minutes. No more, no less. Um, did I read this? The books can be used. The game automatically saves when you enter or exit an act. If you get an item and die without saying, saving, you lose it. When you restart your coin and ammo count are restored to when you save. Okay. Every war has three acts. 
when you clear the act you get a score and rank based on how well you played. It also hidden acts aside the three normal ones, they are not affected by difficulty. You can quit an act at the cost of 5 coins and return to the map. You can still live if you have less than 5 coins, but you won't be able... But you won't have anything after. Okay. Difficulty. Difficulty changes many aspects of the game. Easy mode, simple spike placement, more save points. Alright. Hard mode. Wait, what? What about normal mode? <laughs> Our mode can be played after beating the final boss. Oh, I see. Easy, normal. Okay, so those are the only two that are available for now. Easy and normal. Okay, well, at least that makes it, easy. it makes it easy to pick which one. Um, wait. Uh, what else is in this laboratory? Wait, am I supposed to go to the time machine or am I supposed to leave? Also, what's in here? Huh? In. Oh. I don't know what's in here. But I guess we can investigate the city. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I can enter this building. Um... I gotta say, this is really, really weird. What's this? Wait, these are achievements. Oh, okay, well, I don't need this. Yeah, okay. So we have a building, a, a full building just made of achievements. Okay, can go to the right. So, I guess the only way is to the left or Taking the time machine. I mean, the game is called I want to take the time machine. So I'm assuming that's what I gotta do. What's this? A weapon shop? I have no coins though. Ophelia? Yeah, I can't even see them. No credit? You know, shit. Okay, well, I'm assuming. In. This is a pretty unconventional fun game, uh, to say the least, right? Like, this just looks like its own thing. I mean, the fact that you have limited ammo, the fact that... I don't exactly know how the shooting works. Apparently it works in... Um, you know... Boss Stadium. It works in four shots, five. Like you press it once and he does that. Okay. That's weird because even if you spam it, it doesn't do it constantly. Okay, well I guess we need to take the time machine after all. I mean, I'm assuming that that's the case because apparently Sometimes when you see this, like, uh, dark area, sometimes you can pass and sometimes you can't. I don't know what it depends on. Anyways. Let's go to the time machine. Um, with uh, this, I think. Cosmos Laboratory. So we are in 2017. Oh shit. I only press up. And we can go a long way back. And it seems that this is the only available level for now. Well, the glacial age. That's a really weird shit. That looks like a nine. So I'm assuming that with that font there's not much you can do. Damn, okay. Um, and how do I go? Shump key, okay. Well, 
Seems that we're finally here, and you can change the difficulty at any moment, it's same with the keys. Ranking upload? Okay. Oh, I wonder if I can go to the left. Well, yeah, I, I can go to the left. But I don't see the reason. Okay. Him. I gotta say that this is pretty stone. Oh, we, we are still on the stage selection. I see. Okay. Well, let's just go into it. God damn it. It has been like a 15 minutes intro at this rate. Okay. And we also have a time. Why is time... Ouch. Why is time being counted? Well, I guess that's why there is a leaderboard in the first place. And I gotta say that the physics are a little bit weird. Well, I mean, obviously, I don't think they are the default ones, but... Mm. I mean, it's just really weird the way everything seems to be working. The fact that you need to kneel to be able to go through these spikes. Uh, so the quit key, I assign it to Q. I shouldn't press it by accident, or at least I hope I don't press it by accident. So you go fast in that ice. That specific ice. Okay. Not on that one, but on the one below. Alright. Uh shit. It's kinda like like a whole new game. Like a, I mean a whole new genre. Because the controls feel really, really different. And not just because of the physics. The fact that you you have to crouch. The fact that the the hitbots of the guy seems to be... The, the kid, I mean. Seems to be, uh, you know... Uh, bigger. I mean, his sprite is bigger. So I'm assuming that... You know... The other thing, the, the hitbots will also be bigger. Also, there was something to increase resolution. What happens if I press it now? Oh, it doesn't do anything. Well, that's pretty nice. Oh. I guess we are not in increasing resolution, though. I'm assuming that that resolution key is in case that you want to... You know, in case that you don't want to use full screen, right now it didn't do shit. And if the first jump is costing me this much, this is gonna be a long journey for sure. I can, I can say that. I think the problem here is that I'm already, you know, I already need to use this new mechanic which is crouching and at the same time the new mechanic being going faster on ice. Ah, uh, well almost, at least the save is right there. Also, I've been told that there are a lot of secrets in this game. There you go. A lot of secrets, and more importantly, lots of those secrets are pretty well hidden. I have the feeling that I need to change the save key. F doesn't seem to be that close. Maybe I need to use control. But the problem of using keys like control is that one way or another, they always... Um, they always get fucked in some way. 
And by that, I mean that... Oh, you can still get killed by going out of bounds. Oops. Now I really wonder... How much this game took to make. It is not like the... Like the fun games that you can just make in in Game Maker or anything like that. It is pretty much like doing your own game. It's just that he called it a fun game because, you know, it probably uses a lot of copyrighted stuff. But yeah, this might as well be called, I don't know, the Adventures of the Red Caped Guy. He could have launched this on Steam. And nobody will bat an eye. I mean, if he gets rid of probably all of the copyright infringements that are present in this game, uh, it will be its own thing. Pretty interesting. Okay, go down. Alright, I guess we're not going down. Wait, what? Do I need to bait the rock? Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Well, the thing... The thing that I really have to get used to the most is... Is the size of the character. It's a lot bigger than... Than it usually is. Like, a lot. But it's fine. It's a matter of getting used to it. So what I'm not gonna get used to is this shooting. This shooting is so weird. Like, those quick bursts. I mean, the previous one basically had full automatic mode. So... And normal fun games usually have semi-auto, I mean, you know, just one shot per button press. But this one is unlike both of those. This one is semi-automatic with bursts. Yeah, like that gun that Draenor is posting there. Though, you know, pistols with... With burst mode, I don't think they are that common. Usually, pistols are like, you know, you pull the trigger and one bullet comes out. I think there are some that when you pull the trigger, three bullets come, come out. You know, the usual burst uh, gun. But I don't really think they are common at all. Now, I really wonder why <laughs> the snow here is so pixelated. I look at the snow right here. Isn't it a little bit... I don't know... Weird? I mean, especially considering the quality of everything else. Feels like the snow... ...didn't get lucky enough... ...with the bad shit here. Right? <laughs> it's pretty funny, I gotta say. Pretty, pretty funny. But, you know... ...it's fine. What also really scares me about this game is that, according to Delicious Fruit, it's just as hard as the previous one. Now the problem is, if it is as hard as the previous one, it's gonna be a problem having to get used to these new hitboxes and shit, and new mechanics. I mean, I just keep forgetting that crouching is a thing. Especially because for a character like 
the kid, which obviously in every fan game is incredibly small. I mean, you will never think of something like crouching. It's something unheard of. What's this? Huh? Can I shoot this or... Oh, I can teabag. Am I didn't realize one of the best things I've been able to crouch is been the fact that I can teabag. And that's really good. I guess crouching is not that bad of a mechanic after all. What's this Mario block about? Huh? Oh, I... Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Hmm... Did that Mario block do something? I mean, I think it did, but I... I don't see anything. Maybe I'm not supposed to... To hit it with my shunk. Maybe I'm supposed to hit it with my gun? No? Well, that did something, so I'm assuming I have to go back. Fuck. So, in order to use... Fuck. In order to use that spring, you have to do it... You can do it from the side. So that means you don't have to jump into it. Now... Oh, okay, that's what it does. Nice. Well, we're going up. So last time, on the first... I wanna take the time map. On the first, I wanna take the time machine. The, the Ice Age apparently had Sonic and Mario as bosses. So, there is that. I don't know if there are gonna be bosses here, but you never know. And again, I don't even know if this game is gonna be using some form of copyright infringement. Probably it will, but I don't know. I haven't seen any yet. But obviously it's just a matter of reaching the first boss. And this is gonna be hell, huh? Right? Oh, you have to intercept the jump in me there. Nice. Well, this is gonna take some time. Oh, and I have to... Oh, that sucks. I need to go back without dying either. It's gonna suck. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard to do, but... You fuck it up. Mmm, and I almost fucked it up there. There you go. Alright. Maybe it wasn't that bad. Maybe it was just an exaggeration. Wonder... Hmm. I wonder where the secrets will be in this game. Because, you know... When it comes to secrets, every game has its own way of handling secrets, right? I really wonder which one it is. I mean, obviously, all of the secrets are as well supposed to... A new treasure has been sent to the museum? Wait, because I die so much? Thanks. Asshole. But yeah, I don't know what's gonna be the, you know, the secret, um, the secret rule for this game. Huh? Finish line? Wait a second. So that means that this is the end of the act. And as the tutorial said, every every era has three acts, kind of like Sonic. Oh, 
I wonder if the third act is the boss like in Sonic or if it also has a little bit of of level no you know I think the only Sonic game where it, where you have three acts is the first one right I don't remember if Sonic 2 had three acts as well I really don't remember I know is that the first one had it and there are also some Game Gear uh, games. Oh, speaking of which, hey, Mr. Colo, are you there? Because if you are there, I'd like to ask you a collectionist question, if you will. And that's something that... You know, there is a specific console that not many people know about that had some pretty interesting games. You're gone. <laughs> Damn. Well, you know, there is this portable console called the Sega Game Gear. Do you... Do you know it? And if you know it, since you are collecting all this retro stuff, are you planning on getting one? I mean, I know that you don't really give that much of a shit about Sega and you're more of a Nintendo fanboy, I understand that. But you know, the Game Gear was something that for its time, it was pretty interesting. I mean, it basically was, if I'm not mistaken, competing with the Game Boy. You answer yourself in. But it doesn't have to be that way. Why you gotta be a Nintendo fanboy? I mean, come on, bro. I mean, I don't mean... I don't mind that you wanna be a Nintendo fanboy, but I mean... I think you're limiting yourself a little bit. Because, you know... Um... You could just... Like, be both. You could be a Nintendo and a Sega fanboy. You could be a retro fanboy, to say even more. You want me to buy it because you want to play? No, because if that was the case, I would either emulate it myself or play it myself by buying it, which won't happen, but... No, I'm just, you know, since you are collecting retro stuff, the Game Gear is also one of those retro consoles. So that's how you do the champ. Let me practice it once more. So I need to get this champ consistently, because I don't want to do that shit every time I fail this champ. It seems like a really whack champ. Okay, that's how you do it, but it's gonna be hard. Okay. Well, let's try to do it regardless. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like you... I like Nintendo hardware, that's the aim of collectors. Well, that's the aim of Nintendo collectors, I mean... You can still, like... Uh, other hardware. I mean, as I said before, oh wow, that spike really was there. That spike had to be there. Wow, I I'm speechless. What an asshole. Um, but yeah, like what I was talking is, yeah, that you don't have to limit yourself to Nintendo. You could just go with other stuff. I don't think. It will be that big of a deal. I mean, especially considering that you're already spending quite a lot of money in that collector stuff. I feel that you could definitely go for Sega as well. Especially because the Sega had a lot of consoles that are pretty obscure. I mean, the Sega Saturn, the Sega Dreamcast, the Game Gear. All of those are consoles that not many people, you know, not many people have done anything with them. Some people don't even know that it, that they exist. 
But you can tell that. Oh, come on. What do you want me to do here? There you go. Alright. We clear the act. F. Yeah, here is your F, bitch. What you mean, F? What is this, Devil May Cry? Fuck you. Alright. I got two coins. I don't even know where I got them. Well, that's act two. Okay. But there is no... No place for act three. I wonder where it's gonna spawn. It doesn't seem like there is any any more space to to have an act three here. The only retro console I own that is not Nintendo made is PS2, and I got it because of my girlfriend. Well, yeah, but I mean, you could still. I feel, you know, you could still get some others. I guess I should follow your steps and probably... Wait a second, temperature is a factor and it's in Fahrenheit? I don't know how much that is in Celsius, bro, come on. Are you gonna do that? I'm not American, god damn it. Why you gotta do this, bro? I don't know how acceptable, what the acceptable temperature here is. I can't believe that you're gonna do this to me. Like, come on, bro, do the Koreans also use Fahrenheit? Because that will be interesting. I don't think they do, but... I also am not sure at all. Do they? Maybe they use Fahrenheit. But damn. Well, so in order to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you need. If only I could remember the formula. I remember something about 9 fifths. But I think 9 fifths is, is something that you do for Celsius to Fahrenheit. I don't know if just doing 5... Uh, 5 ninths is gonna be enough if I want to switch it to... Um, to Celsius. Probably not. Probably I'm forgetting something. Well, I guess today I learned that the Korean use Fahrenheit. Why will you use Fahrenheit though? I mean, I feel like Fahrenheit has its uses, but I feel like trying to measure the air temperature is not really one of them. At least not for, uh, you know. human purposes, I guess. Well... All I know is that in Fahrenheit, people can stand temperatures of like a hundred something without dying. I think something like that. I'm not entirely sure though. And we have to jump really late there. Do I just jump to to the other side? Or what? I'm about to... Wait, did I die because I got cold? Wait, is 95 Fahrenheit that low? Maybe I just got hit by the spike, I don't know, but... I don't know exactly what's too low. Well, hey Yami, if you are there, is this too low? I don't know. A 
as I said, I have no clue and I don't remember the formula. It's not, I see. Also, hello. How are you doing, Yami? You launch yourself. Yeah, I, I also thought that I got hit by the spikes, but I thought I was pretty far away from the spikes. So I guess they hit me. Okay. So, can you remind me what the formula to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius is? Like, as, like I said before, I remember the whole 9, uh, 5. I remember that, but I don't remember uh, anything else. I think there was another number too, like you needed to add like 30 something to the result or s something like that. Not entirely sure, but I think it was something like that. Well, thankfully the temperature is not going down too fast. So there is that. So how much will it be considered too too low in Fahrenheit? Uh oh. Subtract 32 first, then multiply by Okay, so 32 is the number that I didn't have. I was right with the 5 uh, ninth. Uh 97 is like 36 Celsius. I see. Thanks. Damn, 30 seats? That's pretty weird. 30 seats being in the glacial era? I mean, even with a with a bonfire, that's a lot. <laughs> like, if anything, it should be something like 10 at most. 10 Celsius, I'm talking, right? Because something like 30 seats Celsius is what will happen if we were in summer. So is this a puffle fish or what am I looking at? Around 30 is zero degrees. Well, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, after all, 32 is zero degrees since you're basically subtracting 32 to 32 which is zero and then the rest is also gonna be zero oh so yeah um if we want to be at sag 98 will be 60 98 will be 66 Almost half of 66, which will be, yeah, as you say, around 30... 33 will probably be. I'm surprised. Has this guy ever been to a cold area? Yes, I don't know about him, but I'm pretty sure that a cold area will definitely not have this temperature, regardless of how many bonfires you are under. Okay, so that fish spawns at some point, and then, uh, you know, then he jumps. But he only has 15 points of health, so theoretically this shouldn't be bad, especially if his attack is gonna be so simple. Damn, I almost died. Come on. Wow, he exploded. What? Did I really die to temperature here? Oh, wait a second. I think I might understand what this temperature is. This temperature, I think it doesn't refer to the air temperature. It's referring to the body temperature. Which means that if it goes below 30, you're pro you're pretty much dead. I mean, 30 Celsius I'm talking about. I mean, 96 has to be around 33 or something. Okay, so that's body temperature, not air temperature. But well, that explains it. 
Yeah, otherwise it would be just too stupid if it was her temperature. Alright. I don't know what's the minimum body temperature that you can have. I know that usually the normal temperature is around 36, right? Something like that. The general body temperature. So it makes sense that if it goes way below that, you're gonna be fucking dead. So that means that uh, it is gonna be a lot harder to to deal with. I wonder if there is a secret here. Probably not, but you know, this looks suspicious to me. Yeah, we're gonna take a long time. Okay. There is absolutely nothing. And not only that, but I also can go up there because of it. Nice. Uh, good shit, Gabby. Wait a second. Oh, but I can shoot downwards. I forgot this was a thing. I can shoot downwards. Okay. Well, that means that I can actually go down here. And I probably need to. Well, not on that uh, specific ice cube, though. Well, that one works, though. I think this is... Okay, those work. Oh, but how do I go... Oh, I need to destroy this one, no matter what. Or not? Wait, so that means that I'm pretty much dead. Because how do I go back? Well, I'm dead. Oh, there is a chamber. Okay, so it's the first one and the fourth one. So only this one. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know what that... Oh, okay, that's what it does. Oh, and I can also shoot upwards. Uh oh, I'm gonna end up dying. No. Nice. Uh, I wonder if there's something to the right. Well, I mean, I already saved, so YOLO. Alright, there was nothing on the right. Or maybe if I go all the way to the right? Alright, maybe I should stop looking for secrets. That would probably be a better idea. Um, what about this? Do I have to destroy those ice blocks there? Fuck. Well, that has to be a reset. Damn it. Am I supposed to destroy the three of those? No, I don't think so. Not the one on the top, at least. Wow, look at those misses. I gotta say, it takes some skill to miss that. Fuck. Okay, I got it. Wait, I'm also about to die. I forgot about that. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Switch to Korean for Celsius. Damn, so Korean don't use Fahrenheit. So the stoner that did this is the stoner that did the translation. Man, what the fuck? Uh, you really think that translating to English includes fucking Fahrenheit. I mean, to be fair, the flag had the United States and England, well, the UK flag, not the England one in particular. But like, come on, bro. Was Geezer the stoner that decided that? Because by the way, apparently, um, I'm just making a stupid guess. In. Motherfucker. There is no way Korea uses Korea uses foreign hate. I, I mean I don't think either, but you never know. You could be surprised. I, I also don't think it uses it, but Well 
If it uses it, I guess we learn something new today. If it doesn't use it, then... It was probably either Geezer or the other guy that did the translation for this game that went full stoner mode and actually thought that people use uh, Fahrenheit in any other place, in any place that speaks English. But then again, at least the flag is honest. It, it, the flag is about the USA and England, so you know. We had it coming. It's alright, don't worry about it. I don't mind that much. I'm fine. I mean, after all, all I need to know is that when the screen gets really white with some red, it means that I'm about to die. So that's enough for me. I mean, even if that was in Celsius, it wouldn't really help that much. Considering that I don't even know what's the recommended body temperature. And I will not want to suffer from extreme cold. Like, you're not able to feel your anything when it's fuck. When it's cold. I mean, sometimes winters here are not really cold compared to a lot of other parts of the world. But even then, when you're in the middle of the winter and it's really cold, sometimes I can't feel my, my fingers. It's pretty fucked up. You know. I can only imagine how fucked up it would be if it was colder than that. And considering that in countries like Canada it's definitely colder than that. Yeah, that would be... Maybe I need to go visit Canada when it's summer. Because if I go in winter, I might regret it. I will probably regret it. Well, that also applies to any other country that is close to the North Pole like that. So it's funny because, I mean, technically, the place where I live is a little bit close to the South Pole. I mean, well, there are areas in the country where it's way closer to the South Pole. But still, fuck. Still, I feel that, you know, I don't know why it's so warm in here. I guess we are not as close to the South Pole as I expected. Okay, so what do I do here? So, I'm assuming that the last one is not fake, because. If that's fake, I don't know how to actually do the jump. Ah, damn it. I'm going so fast that I'm already just using the, the double jump. So that's a normal platform. Mm. Damn it. I had to do it because I was running out of temperature. Nice. Oh, I need to use momentum there. I need to use momentum. If I don't use momentum, I just can't make it to the other side. Okay. I think we need some violent speed and momentum. Also, it's pretty funny to me how this game, with all the production value that it has, it still can't do a zero feel in the time. Like, dude, that's not too hard to do. Like, whatever programming languages that you use definitely will feature a way to do zero feel 
in in dates well dates or time objects right in this case it's time but for some reason they refuse I understand that zero feel is not that big of a deal but I still feel that it will be pretty weird if I look at that I don't know seeing only one dish it looks weird it, it looks even weirder when it's on the minute side because it's in the in the center yeah I, I don't know maybe there wasn't enough budget to make a function to zero feel uh, but it's okay I guess maybe they do it because it looks more you know it looks more like the um, like the classic one all butcher wants to graphics and screen shake well you say that but look at the snow like I mean I, I don't say this to talk shit I mean that's not my intention but compare this snow with the snow on a on the first uh, game of this one which is I want to take the time machine one why is it so pixelated like it looked better on the previous game <laughs> like I mean, it's a minor detail, I don't really give a shit, it's just being, you know, at that point it will just be uh, perfectionist, but it's really weird. Like, why does the snow look so pixelated compared to anything else? I don't know. It's weird. Especially when, as I said, a lot of fun games that use the all the graphics are like actually know how to use how to put a decent looking snow. But it's alright. So oh, sometimes this guy likes to run to run. On ice, and some more times he doesn't give a shit. It's a little bit weird. It's like there is acceleration. I mean, probably not literal acceleration, but it seems that you have to be running for a specific amount of frames before the the high speed triggers. It's weird. It's a little bit weird. Nice. So that's how you do it. Are we going to another screen? Yeah, we are. It also seems that the game doesn't do that big of an effort on looping the music, I mean. Oh fuck, this is actually a labyrinth. Wait, I'm gonna die. <laughs> what? I'm actually gonna die. Wait, how am I expected to do this? Oh... I didn't even see that. I, I keep forgetting that I can shoot those blocks. Well, no, I didn't forget that I can shoot those blocks. What I forgot about is that I could crouch. Alright, so that's what you're supposed to do. You crouch. I don't know why they thought that crouching would be a nice mechanic. I mean, I, I, I don't. I'm not saying that it's particularly bad or anything like that. But like, it's weird, and I wanna be the guy game with crouching. Seems pretty esoteric to me. So this game obviously has a lot of stuff that that would normally be considered esoteric, obviously, but it's still pretty weird. It's definitely pretty weird. I also don't know where the secrets are gonna be at this point. The secrets look impossible to, to get unless... Well, probably I, I, I haven't encountered any secret yet, but still, if I did, 
Uh, I mean, like, I mean, if I pass the secret, then I really don't know where they are. Especially because a lot of these places can look like they hold a secret in them, but... Wait, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. Or not? Or maybe no, no, I'm definitely dead yet. I took too long. Okay, so I gotta hurry up. I keep forgetting that, that that's a mechanic. Don't you have Secret Master Draenor in chat? I don't think he will remember every secret. Though, Draenor, if you remember the secrets in this game, I will definitely be glad if you told me about them. Because I'm the kind of person that, well, you already probably know it, but I absolutely hate secrets. So, you know... If there is a secret that you know that it's there, let me know. I never went after all secrets, I do want to replay with all secrets though. I see. I remember when I was playing Boshi, uh, there was someone in chat that told me every secret and that's the only reason, obviously, why I even had all of them in the first place. I wonder if there was another thing that opened there. So, hmm. Because that won't seem to switch like a, a different one. I wonder if there was or not. Hmm. I don't know. Eh, it's probably not that important. But yeah. I honestly feel that secrets are whack in any game, not just I want to be the guy games. Well, there is one kind of secret that I can tolerate, but only one kind of secret. And that is a secret boss in an arcade game, especially a fighting game. So if you have an arcade boss, uh, sorry, an arcade mode, and the boss is absolutely, like one of the bosses is secret and you need requirements to get it. I like that kind of shit. But yeah, other than that, I don't really like most uh, secrets in, in video games. And that's because arcade games are games that you can beat within a really, really short amount of time. I mean, that's the only reason why I really uh, mention them here. But like, you know, feel that any game that is really long, I feel that it definitely should not have, um, you know, Will not have secrets. That reminds me, I should probably at one point stream that. Like, stream a fighting game and me trying to go for the secret boss. Speaking of boss, that's where the boss is. We're about to fight the first boss in the game. Okay, so finally, we will be able to know if this game has copyright infringement or not. Will be nice to see. I really wonder if it's the case or not. So who is it gonna be? We also are gonna see how the bosses... How the style of the bosses is. Oh. Huh. Magnus Frost? Hmm. That seems pretty generic. So I wouldn't know if this is a boss or uh, like a copyright infringement or not. That's a pretty generic name. <laughs> Magnus Frost. Hmm. Is it? I don't know. Is this original or is this from a game? I mean, I don't think someone will do that much sprite work, so... 
But then again, this game is, you know, has a lot of production value, as a lot of people say, so maybe this is something that was made, uh, you know, that was made for this game specifically. I mean, you never know. It's way easier to do shit here. <laughs> Didn't realize it was a way better idea. Damn, I'm crouching Dan Maku. You believe that? Oh wow, alright. That was pretty cool. A new treasure has been sent to the museum. What? I didn't do anything. Did I pick up something by accident? Or what? Hmm. I wonder if they should gift treasure shoes like that. Maybe they are feeling generous. You never know. Also, I gotta say that the kid in this game, bro, this is probably intentional, but he reminds me of, he reminds me of uh, the Metal Slug character, how was he called, Marco, something like that, reminds me of that, you know, the attack animation and everything, it's really similar. Oh, that shit is gonna fuck me up every time, right? Seems like that's how it's gonna happen. Now, there is a specific problem with this whole crouching mechanic. And it's the fact that if I want to crouch, shoot, and move at the same time, my keyboard doesn't really allow it. <laughs> I know that that's pretty sad. But I actually cannot crouch, move, and shoot at the same time. That's really, really sad. And that's gonna be a problem because that's probably gonna be needed in more than one fight. God damn it. Why you gotta do this to me, keyboard? Don't worry about it. It's fine. We probably won't need it that much. You know, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need it a lot. But <laughs> well, if I need it, then I guess I should change the control layout. So that's gonna be painful to get used to a new control layout. But I mean, it's the only way. Uh oh. Wow, well that was a pretty huge laser. Jesus. It's pretty weird that the boss only activates when you save. Doesn't activate before that. I jumped too soon. Oh, by the way, look at the zero, f uh, at the lack of zero feeling the time feels. See what I mean when I say that it looks weird? It says one hour and three minutes. Uh, one hour is nice. One hour and three minutes. But like, without the zero feeling, it just looks really weird. I guess it could be worse. Fuck. I'm trying to jump there and I don't don't I, I can't do it in time. Well 
so I still can't figure out what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be an ice dragon? Maybe it is supposed to be an ice dragon. I don't know. I actually dodged that though. And he has more attacks. This one is pretty shiny. Uh oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. You, you absolute son of a bitch. You're gonna do that. You're actually gonna do that. Are you happy on doing that? Well, maybe the top platform might be better for. For those attacks. It probably is. But damn. What a bitch. It's definitely being a bitch. Maybe it will be time to finally buy a mechanical keyboard. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that this problem that I'm having right now with pressing multiple keys at the same time, it's gonna become a real problem eventually. And if that's the case, definitely, you know, I will definitely need one of those. Yeah, I don't know. I don't wanna abandon my membrane ways. Mostly because mechanical keywords are so insanely overpriced that... Like, come on, dude, I'm just buying a keyboard, I'm not buying a house. Well, yeah, obviously that's an exaggeration, but I mean... Like... I just feel that it's so expensive, unnecessarily. I mean, especially when they are supposed to be a lot more common now. But I don't think the price looks like it's dropping. I don't think it is. Though it's been a while since I checked. I mean, last time I checked was literally more than two years ago. But I'm pretty sure that they are still as expensive as they always been. Well, that's a problem. But I'm also a little bit ignorant when it comes to to you know to mechanical keyboards. Like, this problem that I'm describing here with the fact that you can hit multiple keys at the same time depending on the key, is that something that also happens in mechanical keyboards? Or it's just the fact that it is mechanical means that it never happens? Because I don't know if that will be the case or not. You just have a dog shit keyboard. Okay, that doesn't answer my question though. I mean... The question was pretty clear, I think. Like, does every mechanical keyboard solve that problem? Or does it depend on the keyboard? Any keyboard with N key rollover is fine. It wait, are you telling me that there are membrane keyboards with that? I guess I should check it. But you know, with this whole quarantine shit, 
the prices of, you know, of computer, you know, of hardware in general has gone up uh, quite a lot and that's a problem because, you know, I don't want to pay a fortune shoes for a fucking keyboard, which is the reason why I treasure this keyboard so much. I mean, it was incredibly cheap back when I bought it. And it works fine except for the fact that you can press multiple keys. I mean, usually you don't need to press multiple keys. I mean, if there is any game where I need to, to press a shit ton of keys at the same time, well, not a shit ton, but I mean, like four or five. I usually don't even bother using keyboard in the first place. I will just use something like, uh, you know, a gamepad. This one, I guess it's an exception because it's a fun game. I wouldn't really do that, but you know. The point is... No, the point is not that one. The point is that I don't want to waste too much money in, in, a, in just a keyboard. And I think there is also another problem with, with mechanical keyboards that apparently they have different types of switches, right? By there, there is this thing that you can pick between red switches, blue switches, brown switches, like, and I don't know, you know, the difference, and I don't really want to investigate either. So that's a little bit of a, of a problem, you know. But yeah. You can just read the specs, doesn't need to have an end key rollover. There are also keyboards with its key rollover, where its is int. What, wait, what do you mean where its is int? What do you mean by int? Are you talking in programmatical terms here, int as an Integer <laughs> or what? Because if Etsy is an integer, positive integers. So what is N then? Well, okay. So X is that, and what is N? Is it also the same thing, or did you use a different methodology just because you felt like it? So I must, N is just N. N is just N. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fuck, what a fucking bitch. Okay, I probably have to dodge that from below. Or maybe sham to redirect it. Alright. Well. Um. I don't know, I will have to investigate, which is always a pain in the ass. You know, that's the main thing that I hate about buying so, uh, hardware. It's never that easy. It's always about investigating a shit ton before doing the purchase. It's never that easy. And that's why usually I don't want to deal with that. Because it's a pain in the ass. You should try mechanical keyboards before you buy before you buy unfortunately you can sample them generally at at stores 
Yeah, the problem here is that we are in quarantine, bro. And going to a store is not an option. It does. Even if we were in quarantine, I wouldn't risk myself doing something like that. Considering that we are the tenth country with the most cases in the world. <laughs> Just try, just to try the different switches. Yeah, I know. Well, that's the problem. Which is, you know, another reason why I never bother with it. Investigating is just a pain in the ass. A gigantic pain in the ass at that. I wonder if I can dodge these things here. No, it seems that you have to go up. If you don't go up, it seems like that's gonna fuck you up every time. But yeah, um, as long as someone hasn't leaked the samples, you should be safe. Well, it's not about them leaking the samples, it's about them leaking or doing whatever with their fingers and then touching the samples. Not really about leaking. I mean, you don't need to leak something to make it a uh, biological danger. <laughs> Well, regardless of that, going out is not an option. I mean, believe it or not, I haven't, um, I haven't went outside in six months. Pretty nice, I gotta say. I don't really feel like going outside either. But you know, to me. It's absolutely great. Living the dream, yeah, pretty much. It is indeed living the dream. I'm enemies with the sun, yeah. I think at this point I might as well be a vampire. Well, thankfully I don't need to suck blood yet. That will be a problem. Yeah, it's pretty nice, honestly. Not having to worry about shit like rain, you know, streets full of people, and shit like that. That's really great. Really, really great. But yeah. Um. I mean, I guess I'm not going to be that picky with switches if I decide to buy a mechanical keyboard. Like, I mean, I'm not one of those that has to have really, really precise, you know, inputs and shit because I don't give a fuck. I mean, as long as it works and it lasts a good amount of time, that's all that matters. Wow, what was that? Did you see that? I teleported. Damn, I didn't know that this guy was able to do that. To have said it before, we will have, you know, we will have saved ourselves a lot of trouble. Yeah, apparently he can do that. Damn it, I keep forgetting about that rock. I can't believe it, dude. It's like I'm not paying enough attention. Even though I am, I just forget about it. Also, I gotta say that this boss is giving me quite a lot of trouble. This boss is definitely giving me quite a lot of trouble.
even though it doesn't even look that hard. But I don't know, it's just giving me trouble. Doesn't help that my damage is absolute dog shit, which basically makes the fight really, really long. I mean, I can buy new weapons, but the problem is that, uh, as far as I know, the new weapons are all... Uh, they all have limited ammo. I don't think I'm interested in limited ammo. I mean, I don't even know when it will get reloaded in the first place. So I think sticking to this handgun might be the best idea, for now at least. I also wonder how powerful the other guns can be. For some reason it seems that I completely forgot about every pattern of this fight. Good shit. Uh, motherfucker. It's alright. Don't you worry about it. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Yeah. It's... It's alright. I still don't know if this is an original boss or if this is a boss that was stolen from somewhere else. Really don't know what the case is, but it will be interesting to know. I should skip that into that laser, alright. I guess we will just skip that into that laser then. I don't really know if this will be easier if I didn't have this problem of not being able to crouch and shoot. And I mean crouch, move and shoot. I don't think this will be that easier. I mean there are only some specific instances where being able to do that is useful, but I don't think it's that useful. Oh, I fucked that up. Here comes the laser again. Really? I couldn't do it in time? Was that one faster than the previous one? Or what? I'm pretty sure I didn't take longer than the first laser and I still got killed. Motherfucker. The worst part is that this is the first one. This is just the first boss. Just the first one. I wanna imagine how the rest are gonna be. Probably don't wanna imagine that. At least I made it in time that time. I also wonder if his attacks are gonna loop after that laser at the end. Or if he still has more shit in reserve. Fuck. Oh, I really don't know, but Jesus Christ, I'm... I'm really taking a pretty long time to beat this dumbass. It's not even that hard. It shoots. Well, that's what I always say. It's a long fight. It's not necessarily hard. It's just long. That means that every time you die, it feels like uh, it feels like a chore to do it again. I'm 
doing some dangerous moves in this shit. Alright, at least I've been able to dodge that. So are you gonna repeat? Okay, I'm pretty sure he's repeating here. But if I don't fuck it up, it shouldn't be that bad. Got him! The motherfucker survived too, too much. In it. Of course. We're gonna collect Fs. We're gonna keep collecting Fs. I, I, I'll tell you that. Choose F after F. The whole missions are gonna be a gigantic F. Alright. Can I save? Or do I have to save? Uh, whatever. Let's just go to a different era. Uh, what different era though? So this was the gla glacial age. The other one is the Jurassic era. That's a lot of years back. How do you even manage? Wait, are we going even more in the past? We're going more in the past. I didn't realize. It's not like we are. We went back to the past and then we're slowly going to present. No, no, we're slowly going even further into the past. To the Jurassic era, huh? Okay. Some dinosaurs, I guess. Beating music. Okay. Where is the act one? Wonder. Not here. Okay, that's probably where the boss is. Wow, I went the exact opposite way. Boshi? It's Boshi time? Are you telling me that we're gonna find Boshi here? How will Boshi even look like with these graphics, I wonder? Well, let's find out if we are gonna find Boshi or not. Oh. We are indeed in the Jurassic era. Can I go up? N not from here, no. Oh, that was a trap, god damn it. It's okay, it doesn't look like that hard. Just referencing Boshi stage 1. Oh, I see. Which was also Jurassic era. Yeah, and for some reason the one there... The boss there was Hello Kitty. Maybe Boshi... Well, Solgreen is trying to tell us that... Hello Kitty is a dinosaur. Well, I mean... She looks pretty weird as a cat. So maybe... She could be a dinosaur. I mean, we still don't know exactly how dinosaurs look. I mean, well, we have a pretty approximate idea, but... What I'm trying to say is that we don't know how every single one of them looks. So maybe Hello Kitty was a dinosaur shit. Well, there you have a dinosaur. Oh, I needed to kill him? Really? Damn, and he just fucking explodes, dude. He just explodes. Also, want to use an even more fucking overused dinosaur? Something tells me that. Yeah. I knew that destroying those wouldn't be a good idea, but. Oh, they are random? No. Are they? I can't tell if they are or not. Uh oh. Whew, that was close. Okay, I think that's about it. Uh, wow, that looks like a gigantic dinosaur. It is. Well, he's either dead or asleep. So we should be fine. Hopefully, dead. 
something tells me that this motherfucker is not gonna be dead. Alright. Wait, can I wake him up? I actually want to know that. No, he seems like he is forever dead. Well, what a pity. Uh, it's okay, don't worry about it. They are gonna die anyways when the huge meteorite fucks them up in the ass, so don't worry about it. Uh oh. Damn. Do you know that dinosaurs also spit fire? Is this. Oh, what? That was literally impossible. I feel scammed. Am I supposed to go there fast enough so that that wall doesn't get me? Oh yes, I am. Okay, so I need to go fast. Gotta go fast. Fuck. Not really going too fast. Oh, I almost got it. I didn't realize that I could do that jump with only one jump. Go. Nice. I wonder how you. Wait a second. Can you get down here somehow? Because it looks like there is something down there. Maybe it's just decoration, but I don't... That, that looks like it could be a secret. I mean, that thing down there looks even more like a secret. Wait, maybe going back? Do you see that thing? That spike actually fell off when I tried to go back. So maybe there's something if I go back? Probably not. But you never know. Secret found? Well, if I can trigger this shit... Seems that I can. Okay, I can. Now what? I go to the other side? Now what? Was that the secret? Gate chump? Wait. So I didn't get shit? Wow. What a secret. Why is that there then? I mean, that, that has to be there for some reason. I can't believe that th that thing is there for absolutely no reason. Are you really telling me that there is absolutely no reason? Well... Uh, fuck you then. Damn. I can't believe it. But that, th there is definitely something there, but I wonder what and how you get there in the first place. That doesn't seem like something easy to figure out. Well, so there are no secrets there. Uh, you know, sometimes I don't know when you're choking and when you're telling the truth. Is, uh, is there a, a secret there or no? Because as soon as I go to the right, I won't be able to go back. Is there a secret or or what? Well, maybe there was a secret, but probably not in the way I think. Um, which is basically yeah, no, fuck that, you know. It technically is a secret. <laughs> technically a secret, huh? <clears throat> Ah, uh, motherfucker. Technically a secret. I mean, no, it technically is a trap, not a secret. Come on, bro. There is a difference between a secret and a trap. Well, you could say that it's a secret trap. Well, I save right in time, right before dying. Where will I want to go up there? Some of this shit. Really hard. 
secret trap geese. Motherfucker is what you are. And some of these eggs don't do shit. So, okay. That switch makes some blocks disappear so others can appear. In, on the other side. Mm. Okay. Careful. What about this? Oh, I need to go down there. Oh, I guess we're going down there. I wonder if... Will I... Wait a second. Am I gonna be able to go back? Is that a secret? Okay. I want to know that. Is that a possible gate jump? Something tells me that that sham might be possible, but I don't know. I honestly don't know what the hitbots of this dumbass is supposed to be. Is that sham possible, or am I just wasting time? Damn, it actually is possible. So, am I in a secret place, or this was the other one the secret? I actually can't tell which one is supposed to be the secret. I'm gonna assume it's this one, but I'm probably wrong. Yeah, this actually doesn't look so much like a secret as I thought. Damn it! Maybe, yeah, I, I, now I have the feeling that the secret was the other one. But, I don't know, that, that spike shum, like, uh, sorry, that gate shum didn't look like, like it would be the intended way since the other, the other side was way, you know, more understandable. Oh, interesting, there was no floor there. What I'm interested in is that apparently this game also has secret areas. Not just secrets as in, you know, items that you pick up, but also secret areas. That seems like it will be a pain in the ass to deal with. Because I don't know what those secret areas will have. Well, they probably have secret bosses. But you know, eh, whatever. Fuck, dude. I don't even know if jumping is necessary here, but I feel safer by doing that. Yeah, actually, jumping is absolutely unnecessary. Well, good to know. I don't even know what that thing does. Okay, it, it makes those platforms appear. Wait. Are you telling me that those were spikes? The back of that dinosaur? They probably were. Ouch. Secret mist? I mean, it's not my fault. Dude, if you know that there is a secret, tell me about it. I won't look at them for myself. As I said, I don't like secrets. So if you know that there is a secret, please tell me beforehand. You know, I don't know where the secrets are. Uh. The other way had to be a secret. I just don't get it though. I mean, the other way was clearly the easiest path. 
and like I at first I wouldn't I wouldn't even think that that gate champ was possible. That's why I thought that this was a secret. But I guess I was wrong. I think that's the whole reason why secrets are absolute trash. You basically have to put yourself in the mind of the developer about what could be more or less likely. It's like, come on, bro. Okay, so the color of the eggs doesn't affect what's gonna come out of it. Can I even dodge that one down there? Maybe I have to shoot it here? No. I'm pretty sure I can jump. Or maybe I can't. Can I jump here without... Wait! Oh, I see. So, you can get past the eggs that have enemies, but not the other ones. Okay, well, that's cool. What? Did I miss something? So now there are eggs that also explode? What, what the fuck is wrong with this? Okay, so, there are eggs that spawn enemies and you don't touch them. There are eggs that are only there to block your path and there are eggs that detonate like bombs. Alright. And the colors are absolutely not related to it. Yeah. Weird ass. Weird ass design choice. Definitely pretty weird. Both of those eggs were innocent. Well, innocent. At least they didn't spawn anything. Team, alright. So, are we in the exact age? The, the exact year where, where the met meteorites started spawning and killing all the dinosaurs? Are we gonna be here to see the extinction or what? Maybe. Wow, that shunt. So yes, I have to think that we missed the secret. But that's so fucking stupid, dude. Now I want to do, to do that again. I mean, I want to do that again. Oh, but the problem is that if you leave... No, but that's the issue. If you leave an act without finishing it, you lose coins. Damn, what a... What a lot of bullshit. Alright, you know what? Fuck you then. And keep the secret and shove it up your ass. How was I supposed to know that the easiest path was the secret? That's absolute horseshit. Absolute horseshit. Is there a secret here? No. Alright then. So these are the super shunt. I wonder if that one has a... Uh, nope. Another super champ. Where will I want that? Hmm. Do I really need a super champ to get out of here? Maybe I do. I think that you could get out without even using another champ. Well, at least it also acts as a champ refresher, which means that even if you already use your double champ, 
You don't need to worry about it. to flip another switch jeez also you know yesterday I was thinking about you know the RPG horror RPG maker horror games that you mentioned it almost makes me want to stream them almost but as Kyle also mentioned yesterday, a lot of those games are all about figuring out what to do. And even if some puzzles are not that hard, the problem sometimes is that you just get lost. You just absolutely get lost. It's really hard to, you know, to do them without a guide. And I don't want to play a game where I'm constantly looking up a guide. Like, at that point, that's just a, a pain in the ass. Oh, nice. Fucking t reds Come on, bring it on. And he doesn't spawn until halfway there. Can I even out damage him with this weapon? Maybe. maybe yeah, the, the most likely scenario is that I'm supposed to dodge him instead of shoot him down. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna use the Sham Refresher to do that. Jesus, all right. That that sounded quite uh, loud. Hopefully he's all right. Yeah, yeah, crouching. I know, I know. At least that one didn't spawn anything strange. Wait, what? Is that a? I don't know if it was or not, but... Okay, that was also an innocent egg. Wait, and what about this? Oh, there is... You can go... Oh, fuck me. You were supposed to pick the... The jump refresher and then jump all the way up. My bad. Shame. Seems pretty easy to fuck it up. We have time. Thankfully, the only thing that that timer there is useful for is for speedrunners, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, what about this? Will I press the switch? Well, I guess now we have to. nothing up there so we just need to go back like that that wasn't as far as I expected it to be so in the back of that dinosaur are actually spikes those things yeah they are spikes it has to be a pretty oh you, you can do it like that okay jump from below okay I can do that there we go I don't think that jump is possible so and if it is it's insanely hard to do our 
are all of these gonna be... And you never know when it's gonna pop out of one of those eggs. Wait, is that a secret down there? Mm, no, it, it seems that it's full of spikes. I don't think you will be able to go there. That has to be a secret. Come on. I know that you're trying to get myself killed, but I... I like, come on, dude. <laughs> That one is just... It's just full of spikes. You didn't see the spikes? Well, yeah, they, they are easy to miss for sure. They are definitely pretty easy to miss. Well, I mean, there is a secret. It's a secret way to die. You don't expect it. Hey, there, there you have it. That's the secret. Pretty cool secret, I gotta say. And I, I just can't believe the other one was a secret, dude. That, that's such a lot of horseshit. How the fuck was the other one a secret? I'm salty, uh, in case you didn't know. You didn't realize. I'm pretty salty. Because those kind of secrets that you know that they are there, but you don't go because you expect that to be the normal way, those, that means that whoever did the secret just doesn't know how to put secrets. Because, you know, it's like... That's a two-way... A two-way path. Instead of a secret at that point. Mm. How do I do this? Oh, that works. Damn it. I thought I could just run off that cliff, but no. Doesn't work like that. Mm. Also, I like how dramatic the death effect is. And it's interesting because it doesn't have any blood, it's just like a really impactful uh, explosion. No blood needed. Okay, I, I can actually drop off the ledge. I just need to do it a lot more ordered. Ouch. Damn it. Really? There you go. There you go. Seems that there is more level to, to play. I feel like this one, well, I don't know how how much there is left, but this one has been, so far, way easier than the one in the snow. Maybe it's just because I'm more used to the physics now. Lithops. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> Lithops? Maybe it's a plant? No. That's a lot of hell, though. At the very least, it's pretty hard for any of those shits to hit you. Wow. You really... You really had to put a champ at the end. That champ was pretty necessary. Oh, and the ones that touch the wall... They stay there. Interesting. So you have wall physics for projectiles? That's pretty cool. That's pretty advanced. 
almost got hit again. Just in a different place. Wait, that's it? Okay, well, it was obviously a bait. It didn't have the aura, the aura surrounding it. I wonder if there's something here. Nope, doesn't look like it. That has to be a secret. Wait, you mean the one on the bottom? Well, I think I'm still supposed to go through this gate regardless of what I do. Or am I? Hmm. I mean, it's a gate champ just like the other one. Just that that one looks specifically fucked up. Alright. Well, I guess... So you say that this is a secret. Maybe... I should trust my own instinct. Maybe. Yeah, that was quite a secret. Wow, that was also a secret. That was a pretty cool secret too. Though I'm still pretty surprised because... I mean... Choking aside, that actually looks like a secret. Like, why, why is that there? Why will I go right? Damn, I fell for the same shit again. God damn it. Didn't even see it. So how do I do this? Because I can't double jump after that. Maybe I'm supposed to enable something? I don't think I am. Maybe it's a pretty specific... Oh, maybe it's... Okay. It's like that. I just need to do it better. Okay, I can do that. No. Almost fucked up. Fuck. That's really, really... A really specific jump. So I gotta say that this section before it is pretty weird. Maybe I'm supposed to jump beforehand. Maybe I'm not supposed to let myself drop that much. So maybe I should jump a lot sooner. Like that. No? Damn. What's wrong? Okay, aw, oh, fuck me, dude. Damn, that jump is so hard to do. And to put a spike right there at the end. Son of a bitch. Okay, maybe it's not that hard to do, but it's pretty challenging regardless. Uh oh. Oh, these little fuckers go all the way. I'm not supposed to shoot them. So that means that I have to outrun them or what? Can I? Can I even outrun this guy? Is it possible? Maybe I'm, oh, maybe I'm just supposed to... No. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Well, makes sense. Now what? Huh? Now what do you want me to do? I can't go anywhere. I can't get in between those things. And I don't think I can jump up there. Okay, I can actually jump there. You see potential secrets? 
What, you mean dropping myself? Is that the potential secret that you see? Because I can tell you that that's most likely not gonna be a secret. Any of those. I don't think any of this is gonna be a secret. And honestly, fuck this shit. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna do that again. Um, one of the holes has to be a secret. Yeah, yeah. I can show you a secret hole if you want. No, I'm just kidding. I, 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 I'm not an, a head exhibitionist. Um, anyways, the point is... Um, fuck secrets. Uh, they fucking suck. Uh, uh, but in any case, it doesn't matter. I mean, honestly, let's just... Let's just go all the way. The what? The Brontosaurus? Mm. But it was kinda now known that the boss will be a dinosaur. I mean, in the Jurassic area, what else could the boss be? I mean, it. it Damn, this looks like a bunch of memorization bullshit. My favorite. Damn. What an attitude. Hmm. Seems like he doesn't let you too much room to... to run once he aims. I can tell that the damage is gonna be an absolute pain in the ass. Which is the reason why he has not that much health in the first place. It makes sense. If he had any more health, it would probably be too much. It probably already is too much. Maybe I should buy a different gun. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe a better idea. Wait, this song? This song? This is a Mushihime Sama song. This is Mushihime Sama Futari boss theme. Interesting. Pretty fitting to use it here. Considering that the whole Mushihime Sama series is in a, you know, magical place full of gigantic insects, which might as well be dinosaurs. Damn, I wish Riemann was here. He will appreciate this one. Just realize it is this song. Damn. For some reason, Mushihime Sama Futari is still not on Steam. Some stupid ass reason. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I will have to memorize absolutely every single movement of this fucking gigantic foot, huh? I don't even know how the dinosaur looks like. All I'm seeing is a gigantic leg. Or, well, a gigantic foot more than leg. Damn. This guy is definitely gonna be a problem. Ah, oh, he doesn't aim, he goes for the center, man. You know, the bad thing about memorizing this kind of stuff is that you're memorizing something that is not on the screen, so you don't have any visual cue to memorize it. You just gotta go full, full memory here. Wow. Are you seeing this shit? 
What the fuck? And Yami was complaining about the bosses, the, 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 the last bosses in the previous one because they were just, you know, a lot of memorization, but look, look at this shit. This is an, an even worse kind of memorization. Again, the one that you can't see, the one that you cannot memorize by by watching. Not even by listening, you can even react to the to the sound cues here. I mean every attack sounds the same. Except for when he summons the fireballs from the sides, but at that point you know that it's coming. Now I understand why the meteorite was necessary in the Jurassic era. Okay, so the safe spot there is on the edge, but not so much on the edge. Stop for a second there. It's gonna reach you otherwise. Damn. And the most scary part here is the damage that I'm dealing. This damage is so bad. Like it's just so bad. I'm also forgetting that I could shoot this guy upwards. But that will be useless because I will be running for my life all the time. Okay, so that means that shooting upwards will only help on this one that comes right here. Oh, not even! Not even because I need to be crouching. So shooting upward here is absolutely useless. Well, that's a problem. So stay here. Yeah. Uh, screen shake, my favorite. I don't know what you think about this boss fight. This is... I don't know, dude. It's pretty surprising, especially considering that this is the second boss fight. Especially surprising because of that. It's okay. Oh, load. So, is this one aimed or what? Yeah, it is aimed. So the rocks, the idea is that they uh, hinder your movement, that's why they are there. I don't think they can, well maybe they can also, you know, they can also squish you, it will be both. Yeah, they probably squish you a little bit, yep, yeah, they do. They definitely do. Any 
you really have to be moving all the time there. Well, the good thing about Mushihime Sama here is that at least we are sure that there is indeed copyright infringement. Even if I didn't recognize the previous boss, at least we now know why this game is not on Steam. Well, I'm assuming that also all of these sprites are also stolen, but it's also not that obvious. Because I don't remember seeing them particularly anywhere. But they are most likely from some random ass game. Well, maybe they are from a pretty known game. I don't know. This looks like, you know, especially the, the platforms and everything. Look like it will be either from the Super Nintendo or from the Sega Genesis. So there is that. Oh, fuck me, dude. The iron she can be so brutal. This attack. Nice. I also don't know if the rocks are RNG or if they are actually aim. I'm not entirely sure what's the case with those uh, pesky rocks. No, they are definitely. Actually, I can tell if they are aim or not. Maybe some of them are. Definitely not sure. No, I don't think they are necessarily aim. Definitely get a lot in the way though. Wait, you have to be shitting me. That's gonna be the fight. Eesh. Are you for real? No, you can't be for real. That's gonna be the fight. So, what the f Wait, maybe I can actually damage if I should shoot upwards. You need to actually damage the, the the leg. Man, this is absolute unfiltered horseshit. What the fuck? You're asking a, a, a lot here. You want me to do five repetitions of this shit? Don't you think that's a little bit too much? I guess this is so you have to buy another gun. Because this is absolute trash. Trash damage, I mean. Like, there is no way you expect me to beat this fight with this weapon. But that's why I'm assuming that you want me to buy ammo. Uh, well, ammo, I mean, you want me to buy uh, another weapon. I mean, the patterns themselves are not really that hard at all. So I guess I could still give it a try with this weapon. <laughs> and maybe there is actually a second phase. Maybe there is actually a second phase that only triggers when you're halfway through or some shit like that. It's still pretty stupid. This is mm, really an incredibly small amount of damage. Like, it's insanely small. 
you know, as I said, at the very least the patterns themselves are not really that, that hard. But, you know, still think that this is horse cox. Wow, the fire is different, or is it the same? Look a little bit different there. Ooh, that almost got me. Okay, so by my calculations, I will need to survive this whole loop five times if this is the only attack that, the, well, the only loop he has. Five times? I don't know, dude. That seems like, I mean, it's doable, but it's such a pain in the ass to do this five times. Why will you do that? Especially when there is nothing particularly interesting about this boss. Hmm. And Yami was complaining about the boss design in the first one. As people like to say, you don't know what you have until you lose it. Fucking Christ. Well, then again, to give the game the benefit of the doubt, I'm assuming I need to buy a better weapon. But... Yeah, right now this is incredibly fucked up. I gotta be thankful that at least these patterns are easy. If this was an actual hard boss fight, I will be... Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Didn't do anything, thankfully. Really. But yeah, that, that's half... No, actually that's not halfway. But almost. I didn't say a shit about the bosses in the first boss. I said two Boshi memorization, f memorization fights in a row is a sketch. I mean, I'd rather take that over this. I mean, like, come on, Yami. I think that Boshi memorization like that. I don't know, dude. Compare that to this, which one will you prefer? You know, every time I ask Yami questions about that, he always dodges somehow. He's pretty good dodging questions, he just uses the shrug. Something tells me that he's a little... Um, chicken. But I don't know. Which one will you prefer, Yami? Will you prefer the boss memorization or will you prefer this? <laughs> Shots fired. How is it going, Deus? Two bullshit fights compared to this. This every day. That said, I'm pretty sure I stopped playing this game here and never got around to continuing. Team, you still prefer this to two Boshi fights? Okay, no, that's fine. I mean, it's an opinion. I respect it. But, alright. That's it. Um, no, I already read that. <laughs> Soon spring final to timeout, I can feel it. Team, you're still trying to do that. That's some dedication. Had five good attempts. Oh, good stuff. Like, really surprised that you you still 
or steals Brian does. But, you know, definitely wouldn't be able to have the patience for that, that's for sure. Though, I mean, if I have the patience for things like this, I guess I could have the patience for that, but I don't know. I think they are different things. Even though they have similar concepts, right? It's meme at this point when about 10,000 retries. Alright. Yeah, definitely quite a, an interesting number, I could tell you that. Wait, is there any way to go out of this? No, but that's the problem. See, here's the thing. If I go out... Wait, this is the same weapon, right? It is the same weapon. I was about to say... It's the same shit. But... That's the problem. Like, for example, if I want to go out to buy a weapon and come back, I can because I will have five coins taken away from me. This is so stupid. Why will you do this, bro? Damn it. I mean, I don't want to do any early judgment, okay, but... Uh... What I can tell you is that at least this fight, this one in particular, is absolutely whack. Just gonna say that. Just gonna say that. But like, what the fuck, dude? How is this fight even here? Uh, it really surprises me because of the, of the amount of effort that went into everything else. You will think that they will put more effort into the into the patterns of the fight. Isn't this your fetish anyways? No. I mean I understand what you're trying to say. This is a fight that it's all about memorization and requires a lot of tries. You might think that there is no difference between this and what I did yesterday. The problem is that you couldn't be more wrong. See, the thing is... This is a fucking dinosaur leg... Coming out of nowhere... With just a couple of patterns... That gets looped... And you just have to clear it. Like, you have to clear it... You mean the feet? Uh, it's a dinosaur feet, dude. Come on. That's like saying the genitals of an animal and being like, Hey, didn't you like this? Absolute degenerate. Come on, bro. Are you calling me a furry now? Doesn't even look similar to a human one. Well, I mean, you could say that it looks like the one of a human that is pretty fat and probably has some skill illness. But I'm not really, you know, turned on by that, you know. Not really my thing, I will say. Well, the only good thing about this is that we are listening to Mushihime-sama's boss theme. Well, Mushihime-sama Futari. Wow, the rock actually stopped me. Nice. Uh, but yeah. Well. The worst part, I think, is also the fact that the level designs themselves don't really look bad or weak at all, bro. 
these two boss fights so far, I, I think that they were pretty disappointing. Yeah, the, no, no, that's the thing. Yes, the cycle repeats. It's a static. The problem is that you have to survive this five times. The same pattern, five times. I don't understand why. I don't understand why they went with this. But yeah, it is the same pattern, but that's precisely why this is so stupid. Like, I wouldn't mind if this was a hard fight, but at least from beginning to end, you will have different attacks. Like with the previous boss fight, right? But this one, you can't just do this. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, this wouldn't be such a big deal if my damage wasn't absolute dog shit. That's the problem here. Like, when you look at my damage, you will expect that this motherfucker will have like a hundred points of health at most. This guy has more than doubled that. I take not too horrible screen shaking. Well, <laughs> I mean, what are you talking about? Well, there is a screen shaking. <laughs> Where you probably you refer to that, but like, yeah, screen shaking. Oh, you take note. Well, yeah, that's what we were talking about the other day. The guy that makes this game makes other games, and apparently he loves the screen shake. And. At least I gotta be thankful that in this one the screen shake is actually not something that makes the fight harder because the only thing that the screen shake does is that, you know, you can see as well as if it wasn't there but there is not any projectile to dodge while that happens. So it's definitely not something that annoys me not that big of a deal. Uh, that being said, the fight is still fucking trash. So that's what Draenot meant. You know, Draenot said that this is one of his favorite fan games for production value alone. And he said that he didn't even like the gameplay that much. Well, now I know what he meant by that. I mean, there is also that fact that I didn't want to mention until I was deeper into the game, but I guess I will have to mention it here. The fact that, you know, this doesn't even feel like a fun game. This feels like a game. A normal one. Like, as I say before, this game could be on Steam if it wasn't for the copyright infringement in every corner. But, you know, it could be on Steam. I, like, obviously this is an I wanna be the guy fan game by definition, but it definitely doesn't, well, obviously doesn't look like one, but it also doesn't feel like one. Like, if it was only because it looks so good to to feel like a like a fun game it will be a different thing but this also feels really different like the whole hitbots being obviously bigger because the sprite is bigger the physics being really different from anything else the fact that you can have different guns I understand that this is obviously a unique game, there is no game like this one, but I don't think that's a good thing, precisely. Obviously the effort is commendable, of course, I won't shit on the effort, but I feel like sometimes a lot of effort doesn't equal a good result. I think the effort was focus in the wrong areas but you know I didn't want to say all that I should
to stay because I wanted to play the game more to give a judgment like this, but after seeing this, I mean, it's like my salt is is making me talk. The bosses are bullshit at times, but yeah, that, that's the thing, it's not the fact that they are bullshit, I mean, we could make the argument that Solgrin is bullshit, from the original I wanna be the boss, right? We could say that that boss is bullshit, but at least, you know, it, it doesn't feel bad to play, like, it, it, being able to dodge all the shit that he does feels good. Being able to progress through the fight feels good. Obviously, it takes a lot of frustration. You're gonna get really salty in the process. But I can't really say the same thing about this one. Like, even when I eventually beat this boss fight, because, you know, it's not that big of a deal, I still felt that, will feel that I didn't do that great of a thing. And then the, the RNG on that fireball attack is, is even worse, because you have to deal with that RNG five times. Well, I guess the note to myself is buying a gun next time before I enter a level. But as I said, it's too late. That, that, that's something that is also bullshit. You put a mechanic like that, buying guns and shit, but if you try to go out so you can buy them, you get penalized. I don't know. Maybe the game is gonna get better at some point, but so far my impression is not really positive, I can tell you that. It's okay. And you know, funnily enough, I was about to ask Yami how far he got in the game. So apparently he got as far as this boss. I can understand why. <laughs> I can definitely understand why. I keep forgetting about the fireball pattern for some reason. Like I, I'm so scared that the that the leg is gonna attack the center that I just forget that I need to go to the center in this attack. Oh, I fucked that up, nice. Oh. Maybe you could squeeze in more damage by shooting up when he stomps. I thought the same, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work, first of all. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, it works, but it doesn't work because of my keyboard. Nice. Well, that's good to know. It only works if I do it on the, on the right side. It doesn't work on the left side. Nice. Well, that's a problem. I guess. Yeah, you can do a little bit more damage. I don't know how much of a change it is, though. It's a little bit. Well, funnily enough, see, as you can see, running and shooting left is something that I can do, but I can do it to the right. Pretty funny. Maybe I could change the shot button, but again, I guess what, I can't sh change the shot button, because for that, I need to go back to the fucking menu and lose the coins that I got. Well, then again, there is always you know, hotkey that I can use. Though I, I gotta tell you that I don't think that shooting upwards really changes that much. It adds a pretty insignificant amount of damage. I really don't think it's a game changer. 
So even if it will be a little bit more damage, it's not good enough because here's the thing. When the when that thing is going to you, like when when that thing when the when the leg is attacking you, uh you have to run. And you can run and shoot, but the problem is that it goes down really fast, so you will only be able to get what two two shots at most. And then when it leaves, you will be shooting it from the side because you wouldn't be under it. You will be from the side. So honestly, I feel that at most from those three patterns that he stomps, you could get six points of damage. Honestly, six points of damage is not really that big of a difference. I mean, you could say every point counts. I mean, you're right. But I don't really think it's that big of a difference. Maybe I'm wrong. And again, I also have no way of knowing that. We could check. Yeah, I, I don't think it is that big of a difference. Unless that's a weak point. Which I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have such a thing as weak points. No, at least not yet. I don't think there will be a weak point there. No, it's... It's the same damage, it's not really a weak point. Yeah, but it, it doesn't change much. And no, I'm not say saying that just for the fact that I'm coping with the fact that my keyboard can't do it. No, I, I really think it doesn't make that much of a difference at all. And if it made a really great difference, I will be pulling out my hotkey program right now. I don't really think it's that big of a difference. In fact, you deal, as you can see, you can still deal damage before the paw leaves, but you can do it by shooting to the side. And it's decent damage. I mean, it's probably the same amount of damage regardless. Yeah, you can see that there is quite a lot of damage from the side. I think the most scary part of this fight is the fireball. Because you never know with the fireballs how the RNG is gonna behave. But everything else is completely unrelated to RNG. Like everything else, you are always in control. Damn it. Well, there you go. That fight was fucking trash. Let me just tell you that. Uh, but hey, at least it's over. So there is that. That fight was absolute trash. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, how can you make a fight against a dinosaur be trash? Against a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are supposed to be cool. Come on, bro. Oh, you know. Let's not be sad because it happened, be happy because it's over. Was that how it was? The saying? <laughs> uh, before I go to... Well, what? Wait, locked? Why is that locked? So I can't keep going to the past. Seems that I need to go to the future. Um, right? Yeah. In fact, level 3 is the future. Future Moonlight City. I see. So that tree is the, the name of the... 
It's the, the order, I'm assuming, the, the intended order of the level. Interestingly enough, 2017 is the, the present. Why 2017? I mean, the game apparently was done in 2014. That's weird. Well, anyways, before this becomes worse, I probably should buy a weapon. Uh, I have 15 coins, I don't even know how much that's gonna give me. I guess we could uh, find out. But there is also the problem that, as I said, there is an ammo limitation on the on the guns, so I don't know. I don't even know what this is. Is that ammo? Hopefully, no. No refund. No credit. No refund. All right. Wow. Are you serious right now? All right. Like, come on, dude. How the fuck do you get coins by speed running the levels? I have 15 and I already beat in three levels. Look at this shit. 750 seems to be the cheapest weapon. I don't even know what this is. I think this might be ammo. That's even worse. Backstep. So you can buy backstep. You can also buy an. Wow. Loot boxes. <laughs> they could be loot boxes. Damn. Is there any tip here? You can buy weapons. I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think they are meant to be bought. The ammo limit is 9999 if you have 9998. Yes, 9999. I know, I just didn't want to pronounce it. You stay pay, pay full price for the last bullet. I don't... What does that mean? So, let me get this trade. Not only it's really, it's incredibly expensive to buy a weapon, but you also have to buy the ammo for it. Like, you really expect me to spear run the levels? Or do you expect me to find a secret that somehow is a chest full of coins? Because beating three, sorry, not three, two full levels. You know, two full areas, and I only get 15. Is that meant for speedrunners? Uh, unless at some point, all of a sudden, I get a thousand coins, that doesn't seem doable in any way. If you're not a speedrunner, I mean. I mean, sure, if you're a speedrunner, you probably get an A in one of these levels, and... You can probably get a thousand or something. Well, I think I'm gonna leave it here because I don't really want to start another level. I mean, not really. I don't feel like starting another level. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna continue it for the next stream. Uh, but I gotta say that so far my impressions of the game are not that positive. I mean, as I said before, you gotta recognize um, the amount of effort that this game has. But as I said, a game having a lot of effort doesn't mean that it's precisely good. Uh, but I will try to reserve my judgment for when I actually have played more of it. I, I only play two areas right now, so there's probably a lot more to, to do. But so far, uh, yeah, it, 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 it didn't impress me. 
But anyways, thanks any everyone. Uh, <laughs> thanks anyone. Yeah, anyone that is there in the chat. Fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks everyone a lot for watching. And I'm going to be seeing you on the next stream with more of I want to take the time machine too. So take care everyone and have a good one.